You wanna know why I don't draw ugly people? Because I don't get likes on Instagram. <laughs> So have you seen this meme before? You've seen this meme before, everybody has. It's actually like really old but it still gets reposted all the time. So the girl on the left is posing next to her drawing with her booty popping. So she got 600 likes. Meanwhile, the girl on the right got 15 likes because she did not show off her fat booty, apparently. So basically this drawing is implying that attractive people, people who have juicy butts, get more likes even though their drawing is literal crap just because they're more attractive. It really is true, I've seen it happen numerous times before. And you know what? Life's unfair. We live in a society. So like, I have to agree with this post. However, despite that, I hate this post so much. You know why? The likes. If you really did not care about clout, if you really valued quality, over the booty. Why would you care about the likes? Don't get me wrong, this post is accurate, it's reality, but the thing that I'm pointing out here is the hypocrisy. At least the girl on the left knows that she's there to chase clout. At least she knows she's shallow. But her? Look at that face. That is the face of an incel who is bitter because she doesn't have a juicy butt. It's like that scene in Mean Girls. Okay, wait, while I'm ranting, please enjoy the speed paint that I made using my my Gammon PD1320 tablet? Anyway, where was I? Ah yes, cloud chasing. Okay, tell me if this is familiar. Have you ever looked at someone's drawings on Instagram and then looked at their follower count and then you went like, why does he have more followers than I do? I'm clearly better than him. Don't lie. Listen, I know you've thought this before because I've thought that before. I've thought it numerous times before in the past. Let's just say that I'm a very jealous and insecure person. I'd be like, why is this 14 year old more successful than I am? When I was 14, I did nothing but cry about my non-existent problems. And this kid has 100k followers? His art isn't even that good. But the truth is, it doesn't matter whether you drop poop emojis or well-drawn on fat rats. It doesn't matter how good you are. If you know the ways of the cloud, you will get cloud. This is exactly why I never draw ugly people. Yeah, call me shallow, but do IG girls get famous because they have a nice personality? No. I don't think so. Also, also, I have seen a few artists who are really good, amazing even. I've seen their Instagram posts, top tier man. But the thing is, they only have a few followers, sometimes not even a thousand. Now compare that to people who make fan art of popular fandoms. Bro, I have witnessed how a certain artist grew from a few thousand followers to a hundred thousand followers because they started drawing attack and titan fan art back when it was still really popular granted they were good artists but so were the other people it just goes to show that skill is just a small part of being successful it's all about the passion to chase cloud but here is the question what is cloud for this leads me to my next point which is making money off your art if you have cloud there are multiple ways to make money cloud is power so for some reason it's very controversial to make money off your art there are actual people in this world living today who are disgusted at people who make money off their art so they could pay bills and not die Oh my god, you're such a sellout. Disgusting shit. Do these people not understand that artists are human too? Have some compassion, people. Like, seriously, do you honestly believe that I make drawing tutorials out of the kindness of my heart? Do you know how expensive med school is? Now you might be watching this right now and thinking, nah. This video ain't for me. I don't want to make money off my passion. No lie, I used to think exactly like you until I got my first paycheck. <laughs> Just to clear things up, I'm not telling you guys to go on and make NFTs right now. If you don't want to make money off your art, go do your own thing. It's a free country. I'm just saying, stop looking down on people who make money off their art. There's a reason why boomers think artists are broke. 
And that's because of artists themselves who refuse to sell out and would rather be broke and pretentious. Artists who think they're above everyone else just because they don't care about the amount of followers they have. People say likes don't matter. If likes don't matter, then why is it that every time you post your art and it gets no likes, you feel pathetic? <laughs> okay, wait, you think I made this video to call you out? No. I made this video to call myself out my past self. You see, I used to be all high and mighty thinking that art is the only thing that's respectable in my life and therefore shouldn't be tainted with dirty stuff such as cloud chasing. But no, nothing in my life is respectable. Ever since I stopped being pretentious and accepted the fact that I love attention and clout, I became a lot more free and happy. Listen, it's not just about money, it's also about proving to your old school bullies that you're better than them. But it's mostly about money? Is that such a bad thing though? Buddy, I am telling you, it's either you grow your clout or you end up with no choice but to set up a Patreon and draw furry hentai. I understand that there are people who purely want to draw for their passion, and you know what, I understand you, I respect you, but that's just not me man. We have our differences. You're a professional artist and I'm a professional cloud chaser. I know I'm not really that big, but even now, getting clout has given me a lot of opportunities, stuff that literally would have never happened if I didn't have all this clout, such as this Gaumon PD-13. 20 tablet. Look at that. It looks like an iPad, but enormous. I love the minimalist design. It also has a stand that makes it look like an iPad even more. So yeah, thank you Gaumon for sending this over. Okay, so after getting used to it for a week, I could draw real smooth. It's great overall and I didn't experience a lag. It has a stand, but I suggest buying your own stand if you're like me, hands are heavy. So yeah, overall it's been a great experience for me. I can see myself really using this. So if you're interested to buy, check out more info in the description. Yeah. Anyway, back to the point. I do have another thing to say. There's an exception to all of this. If you're like this, you literally don't have to chase clout, clout will chase you. And these are super high level gigachad artists. Artists who are so good that inevitably people will get attracted to their art. Artists like Lob or whatever the heck you pronounce his name. These people seem to be gods and people will pay to see such godly artwork. But imagine how many years they spend just to be able to draw like that. Like you would only get to that level if you did a hundred push-ups, hundred sit-ups, a 10 kilometer run and go bald. You're gonna have to dedicate too much of your time. Remember, your Asian parents are watching you. Time is ticking. If you chase clout, not only will you have a lot more opportunities, but also be given this Gaumon PD-1320 tablet. It even has a pen holder and customizable express keys. Anyway, about cloud chasing, you still kinda need skill more or less, but thankfully, you can fake it. So go watch this video if you wanna fake being a good artist. Thank you again Gaumon and thank you guys for making it till the end. Be sure to like this video and I'll see you in the next video. Stay cool!